What's going on you guys? The Keith Carnes here. Today is August 13th, 2014. Um, two days ago we lost one of the most entertaining, most talented, probably one of the greatest actors of all time, Robin Williams. He uh, committed suicide by hanging. Not to be morbid, but you know, that's what happened. And uh, I'm still really in shock. I've always been a fan of Robin Williams. He's kind of been off the map lately in terms of his entertainment, other than Night at the Museum movies, um, which will now be a trilogy once the newest one comes out. Um, other than the Night at the Museum trilogy, he hasn't really done anything big, so I haven't really been into Williams for a while, but I do like his classic movies like Jumanji. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, God, my brain is going to draw a blank here with me now, but I liked him in Juma I loved him in Jumanji. Flubber, when I was a kid, I used to love the shit out of that movie. Um, Good Will Hunting was amazing. Um, he definitely deserved the Academy Award. He won for that movie. Definitely a very well-earned Academy Award. Um, you know, there's just too many movies to name that Williams was in. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire, that's the one I was having trouble thinking of for some reason. That was his biggest movie, and that's definitely my favorite performance of uh, Mr. Williams. But anyway, he, he took his own life um, Monday morning, sometime in the morning hours. And, um, you know, everybody in Hollywood, everybody around the world, all his fans are extremely in shock. Everybody's in mourning, so to speak, including, you know, Everybody. I mean, his fans, you know, I'm a fan. I considered myself and still consider myself a fan of the man's work. And, you know, every time, you know, I think about Robin Williams now, it's sad. Um, eventually, you know, the, the sadness will pass and you'll get to the point where you, you remember him fondly. But, you know, it's just so shocking that somebody so funny and that a, a man that was able to bring laughs and cheer to you through his performance was so sad himself that he couldn't save himself, couldn't help himself. And, you know, this just shows you that people around, people that are depressed, people around people that have issues should really, really encourage that person to, to go see a doctor, should really encourage that person to try to find a way to make themselves happy. And, you know, Robin Williams, I know he was on, um, some medication for his depression. He had extreme depression, manic depression. That's like the worst. And um, he went off the he would he would go off the medication for performances, which is a really shocking revelation since his death happened. Now it's being revealed how bad his depression really was. And um, yeah, you know, just last month, July 2014, just last month as of this recording and his suicide. Um, he, he went to a meeting for his alcoholism, which he had he had been successful in conquering, and he talked about it, about being successful, and seemed to be in good spirits from the people that he talked to, from what they said. He, he didn't seem depressed. He didn't seem like he would be killing himself. He seemed like a person that was happy and content with his life, and then just a month later, he's gone as a result of suicide, and... You know, um, I've heard some negativity about it, of course. The world is a very cruel place, especially when people hide behind a keyboard and think they're tough. And uh, people have been negative about him, his, the circumstances regarding um, Robin Williams' suicide. And they've said stuff like he took the coward's way out, um, he was selfish, blah, 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 all that garbage. And no, you know, Robin Williams ha had basically an illness and he should not be held responsible for his actions. He didn't hurt anybody physically, um, emotionally, yes, but I think his family understands. Um, I think his family's hurt. I think his family, maybe they're a little angry because of the hurt that they're going through. But in the end, I think that they do understand that he was just so probably just so fed up with being sad all the time that he just was like look I'm 63 years old if I'm not happy now I'm never going to be happy and um, you know he decided that he was done and I can't blame the man for that you know I've been sad in my life and I've never thought about committing suicide in a serious manner but I think everybody has said to themselves oh it'd be easier if I just fucking killed myself but some people seriously think that and honestly want to do it and eventually do it. And in this case, Robin Williams, he finally did it, you know. Um, suicide, 
he admitted has been on his mind for years, decades even. And uh, at 63 years old, I guess it was just too much for him to take, and he was ready to go. So, you know, like I said, very t tremendous actor, talent, very entertaining. He'll he'll entertain generations to come, even after his death. And uh, he'll forever be remembered. And I just wanted to go ahead and put this up as a tribute because I think he he more than deserves this tribute from just one fan. And uh, I hope he's at peace, and I hope he's in a better place. So this is Z. Keith Carnes. Thank you very much for viewing, and uh, rest in peace, Robin Williams. Thank you for watching.